there you go. Enjoy your day. Okay. Now, I've heard of opportunity knocking, but this is ridiculous. You should apply. Bing! Assistant Dolphin Trainer Cleo, they would be paying you to hang with dolphins all day. <laughs> I guess it is kind of a dream job. Yeah, and it's one that's got Cleo written all over it. Just imagine what this could lead to. You could run this place one day. I'd make an excellent assistant, Laurie. And I think that this is a great career opportunity for me. I don't know, Cleo. I can start right away. Please. I'm only asking for a chance. Can you believe it? Ooh, assistant Dolphin Trainer, me. Oh, it's so exciting. Well, it's just a trial, but still, thank you so much for encouraging me. Oh, that's all right. That's what friends are for, right, Ricky? Well, let's just see. You've just landed a job that involves being around dolphins, people and water. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what's wrong with the scenario. Oh, be careful. I really don't want to make this whole mermaid thing a big deal. You turn into a fish as soon as you touch water. Call me crazy. That is a big deal. Well, Cleo's a big girl. She can make up her own mind. And the least you could do is try and be happy for her. Should I also be happy for her when she ends up under a microscope? You're taking a really big risk. If Laurie sees you with a tail, you'll be a bigger part of the show than you want to be. Maybe she's right. Maybe it is a bad idea. Maybe she's not. This is your dream. I'm sure it would be fine. If you want to get with me, you better line up, ladies. Line up, ladies. If you want a love letter from me, you better sign up, ladies. You better give me your address. <laughs> hey, Ricky, you're a chick. What do you think of the song? Not into love songs, eh? Well, this one's actually about someone you know. Poor girl. Yeah, I'm hoping to open the set with it. Not in this cafe, you're not. Why? Because, Nate, I want my customers to be hungry, not sick to their stomachs. Lewis! Lewis! Huh? It's my cafe, and when I say goes, you are not playing that song. But... No, Nate, the answer's no. Well, if I can't play that song, then I'm calling the gig off. <laughs> Let me save you the trouble. You're fired. What? You can't fire me. I've got a huge fan following. Well, let's just hope they follow you out the door so I can get customers in with good taste in music. OK. As you know, Ronnie and the rest of his pod understand over 60 hand signs. So you need to remember that successful signals are clear and distinct. Watching. <laughs> See? Clear and distinct. Now you try. Are you okay? Me? Yep, I'm I'm fine. You seem nervous. Oh, maybe just a little bit, but um I'll I'll get over it. It's natural to be nervous. It's just I'm sure Ronnie picked up on your nerves too, and that can cause a problem. No, I'm I'm fine. It's good. Why don't we take five? Have a break and relax. We're fired? Yep. But why? I don't know. I was just rehearsing as usual and she just went off her head at me. What? For no reason? Right out of the blue! Oh, you know, I bet this is because of me. You? Nah. Well, maybe. Look, don't worry about it, Bella. I'm here for you. Nobody blames you for this mess. This is so unfair. to see him up close. Well, this part of the park's off limits to the public. I, I grew up on a yacht sailing around the world with my parents, so I'm kind of 
hooked on dolphins. I, I've been around them all my life. Well, you can see Ronnie at the dolphin show. Great. Will do. Cheers. Here? Well, I won't for much longer unless you get out of the water. Come on, lighten up. I'm not hurting anybody. Come on in. Forget it. Now, please, please, please get out of the water. But Ronnie likes me. He really does. Watch. Will! Feeling better? Um, yeah, much, thanks. So, uh, what are you up to? You know, just rehearsing with Ronnie. Oh, hey, well done. Wow, you taught him that already. Oh, you're quick. Keep up the good work, hey? You're a natural. But it wasn't me. See? He loves me. Get out of there right now or I will call security. What are you talking about? I know you fired the band to make a point at me. But I fired the band because Nate can't sing. Well, that's your opinion. Well, it's my cafe and I booked the bands. Doesn't my opinion matter? I know what this is about. You're mad with me because I encouraged Cleo to take that job. Don't apply for any job at the Psychic Hotline, all right? You're way off the mark. I fired the band because the band sucks. End of story. Well, I disagree. Nate has been working really hard to get our song list together. Oh, Nate's certainly been working very hard for something. That's not the band. What's that supposed to mean? Stick around. You'll see. Sorry. Can I have a word? Oh, Cleo, hi. Hey, I've uh, got a surprise for you. After seeing how well you did with Ronnie yesterday, I've decided to include you in today's show. You mean in front of a crowd? Oh, yeah, but more importantly, in front of the park manager. I want to show off my new recruit. About that. Look, Laurie, I don't... Uh... Here she is now. Cleo, do your thing. Please, Ronnie, please do this for me. Chain to me. Cleo, settle down. Okay, stop, stop. So a few people got wet. It's a marine park. It is kind of expected. I just can't believe Laurie still wants me to be part of the dolphin show. I mean, what did I mess up again? Say it out loud. Okay, what's the worst thing that could possibly happen out there today? I fail in public and get put back on ice cream duty. <sighs> no, it's not going to happen, is it? No, it's not. I don't think I can do this. Cleo, you are a natural with dolphins. You're practically related to them. You're gonna be fine. If you wanna get with me, you better line up, ladies. Line up, ladies. If you want a love letter from me, you better sign up, ladies. You better give me your address. I 
can't wait to meet your parents. I can't wait to meet uh, your dog. Nate, dog. Nate, um, Nate. That's horrendous. Yeah. Yes. That's what I said to Ricky when she tried to force me to add it to our set list. I still can't believe she fired us. Me neither. But hey, look on the bright side. We're in this together. What are you doing? Uh, comforting you? Okay, well, could you try comforting me without touching me? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I understand. We can take this thing slowly, babes. What thing? No. Us. Um, okay, I think... I think we should get one thing straight here, that... There isn't an us. What we have is a strictly professional relationship, you know what I mean? Okay. Good. All right, I'll see you later. See ya. She wants me. In. I hope you guys haven't got any plans for this afternoon. Actually, we do. Yeah, well, Cleo is a woman in need. So am I. Thanks, anyways. That's it. I have tried every local band and they're all booked out. Then we only have one option. I'm not calling Bella. Who said anything about calling Bella? It's Nate's band. Well, I'm not calling him either. Fine, I'll do it. No, I'm saying they're terrible. They're not that bad. The only problem is Nate's voice. Yeah, and his choice of lyrics, choice of chords, lack of rhythm, and those facial expressions. Ricky, they're available. Right now, are you going to call them or am I? Thoughts exactly. You really did fire the band because of him, didn't you? Yep. It had nothing to do with me. Nope. I jumped to the wrong conclusion. Yeah, you did. Ricky, I'm, I'm so sorry. You were completely right and I was wrong. He hit on you yet? <laughs> yes. Yes, he has. You poor thing, <laughs> don't worry. The nightmares will stop in a day or two. <laughs> Listen, I'm really sorry if I was a little bit blunt oh, yesterday. Oh, no, no, there's no need to apologise, really. I'm not, I'm not really against Claire having this job, but, you know, I trust her judgement. I guess I was probably just a little bit jealous that she came to you for advice first. Well, yeah, I didn't mean to tread on your toes. I'm just, I'm, I'm really not used to being in a, a group kind of a situation. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what it's like. So, friends? Friends. So, about that gig, did you still want it? I thought we were fine. Yeah, what can I say? We're really desperate. <laughs> All right, tell me what you really think. 
Good afternoon and welcome to our Daily Dolphin Show. Now, just for something fun, I'm throwing my new assistant dolphin trainer into the deep end, so to speak. Oh, to open the show, she'll be showing you something new she's been working on with Ronnie. Over to you, Cleo. yesterday, just do it again. Get the audiences here. Well, then you better go watch Laurie because I've already blown it. I can help you. You know, it's so much easier to communicate with dolphins from the water. It puts you on their level. If you grab a wetsuit and get in the water with I'm not him, getting in the water. Have you ever swum with a dolphin before? You know, it's so amazing. It's like, it's like magic. He won't hurt you. I know that, but I'm not getting in the water. You can't avoid it forever. You can't be an assistant dolphin trainer without getting wet. Just let me help you. Cleo, you, you ready? It's now or never.
done it without Will's help. We're supposed to be keeping our distance from him. Well, he saved my job and he's not that bad. In fact, he's pretty nice. Just be careful. I will, I promise. Ah, so I hear you want us back. Thanks. Belle, Belle, please, babes. You know, I knew you would come crawling back, but I'm not prepared to set up until you offer us a pay rise. 50% feels fair. Hey, set up or get out? Worth a shot, wasn't it? Good to work. Hi. I'm Nate, and then this is a little number I wrote about. Uh, hi. I'm Bella, and this is one of Nate's original songs that I've modified a little bit. I would like to dedicate it to a new friend of mine.